So this is the Verney Thor, which I received from Gearbest. Um, I managed to get it in the discount code. Uh, so I only got it for $99, and then I used some points as well. Uh, they included a free travel adapter, um, 10 amp, 250 volt. Uh, I'll have to have a look to see how um, how good quality that is. Um, I don't normally trust power supplies and power bricks from China just because they're not always the best quality. And then this is the device, it's the Bernie Thor. Let me just quickly open it up. So this took um, not long at all to get from China. Um, I used slightly faster shipping. Um, by the looks of it, the box is a little damaged, which is a little annoying. Um, it could have been damaged in shipping, as you can just see there. Um, the specs, we have a 64-bit octa processor, a fingerprint scanner, 3 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, a 5-inch HD on-cell um, screen, a basically a good glass 3 um, actual glass, uh, quick charge, um, slightly curved screen, a 30 megapixel camera at the rear, a front 5 megapixel camera and a dual uh, dual SIM, so one of those will be micro SD, one of those will be SIM. So let's just open it up, and this is what you're presented with. So this is the phone on the top, let me just see if I can get it out. Yeah, let me just... So here's the phone. Um, it comes in a nice little rubber bag. And here is the device. Uh, it looks to have a pre-applied screen protected on it, um, which is nice. It's got a lovely weight. It's not just enough weight that it's premium, but not too heavy. Um, I mean, possibly a little bit more weight would be nice, but it's lovely. It's got lovely thin buttons, as, as you can just see. The buttons there, there's literally no movement within the um, within the holes, which is very impressive for a device of this uh, of this amount of money. Let me just see if I can just remove. I'll have a look at that in a minute because that's not coming off as well as I'd want. So what else do you get in the box? Oh, there's a hard plastic, oh, that's a nice hard plastic thing. Uh, tray. And then we've got the user manual. Um, it's all in actually very good English. It's not... It's not very thorough, but they aren't these days, but it's in very, very good English. Um, which is surprising for a phone from China. Uh, then, as you can just see there, there is an Uber code. And this allows you to, um, by the looks of it, get a first ride discount. So, as you might know, Verney have paired with Uber for this phone. Um, I expect the app, Uber app to be downloaded and installed on this already. Then we have a micro USB cable, let me just get it out. Um, let's see what quality this one is. Um, so, here is the micro USB cable. Uh, it is approximately, I would reckon, 90 centimeters, 90 centimeters long. That might be slightly shorter than that. Um, it looks to be fairly cheap, but that is to be expected. Um, yeah, it's fine quality. And then we've got the Verney Thor. Oh, that's nice. That's the Verney Thor um, charger. Um, it's not it's focusing inside. But all I, what I can tell you is it's a 2 amp uh, 5 volt quick charger, uh, which basically means that this device supports quick charge, so it'll charge really, really quickly. I reckon in no more than two hours. Um, it's really, really nice quality, this charger. Um, I think Verney did a, um, a video which you can find on YouTube which basically says about their charger, but it really, really does live up to the standard. I was really impressed with that, actually. Really impressed. Alright, so let's have a look at the device. Um, Yeah, let me just quickly clean the screen. 
So this is the device. It's got two buttons at the bottom, and then the fingerprint scanner, as you can just see there, is there. The flash, yeah, just a single LED flash, and the microphone port is at the top, which is actually really useful because when you sort of put your phone in your pocket and you want to um, like listen to music, if you have it at the bottom, you have to have the phone upside down. And I just find much prefer it having it on the top. Um, so let's just see if we can power it on. Yep, as you can see, it's powering on. Let's just have a look. Boy, does this feel really nice. A really nice sort of. Feels really premium. And that screen is absolutely beautiful. That screen, for a 720p screen, you're not going to be able to see it because uh, the camera, because my camera's not good enough. But what I'll tell you right now is that that screen has some absolutely incredible sharpness and wow yeah this is lovely absolutely lovely it's running Android 6 which is the latest Android operating system um, and it oh it's just it's blank there's look at that it's all fairly stock it's just got stock apps the only one which is extra um, as you'll see just down there is Uber, and that's because this is part, uh, this company is partnered with Uber. So I can look at that Uber, and let me just see. That is okay. So that app, I'm not you're not able to uninstall that, um, which is just probably because of the partnership. So I will just quickly pause the video. And I'll just have a quick play around and see what it's like. So a quick update here. Um, I've just turned on the phone, and it has already got its first wireless update. It's a 53 and a half megabyte update and this looks just to be optimizations and improvements um, so I'll just quickly install this update and then I'll continue to let you know how it goes so um, but just to also note that this phone came fully charged with battery and the Wi-Fi seems to be working really well alright so I've just installed all my favorite apps um, I'm just going to use Antutu to test um, out the things. Uh, I've installed the 3D benchmark as well. Um, let me just see what the info says. So, let me just see if I can get it to focus. Um, one second. That's the wrong way. Wrong way. There we go. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. So, as you may be able to just about make out. Those are the specs of the phone. It's a Verni Thor, Android 6 as it says it is. The MTK6753, so this is um, slightly better than the Snapdragon 410 if you think about Snapdragons. It's got a 720p screen. The rear camera is a 13.3 megapixel camera. Uh, this is not interpolated. It has RAM, it has 2,933 megabytes, which is basically 3 gigabytes. That is in it average number for um, Android so it will always be slightly less than it's supposed to be that is normal um, it's got 10.87 gigs available after the ROM is installed and uh, I can add more of the um, what's it called micro SD card slot um, it is 8 cores it says and the frequency is what it should be as well um, the GPU is the Mali T T720, which is perfectly fine uh, GPU for this price, and the resolution density is 320 DPI, which is again fairly average but good for this price. So I will just test how many what multi touch this is. Um, so this is a five five point multi touch, um, as you can just see there. So it only accepted five, um, so that's information for you. Um, it doesn't have NFC, uh, I didn't expect it to. It has a gyroscope, it has a light sensor, and a proximity sensor, and those are the only sensors. So I will just quickly run through the phone like that, and we will just see how it runs.
Celsius, not three smooth, but this is a, for me was only a sixty pound device, so that's actually um not that's really not too bad for money. Let's quickly turn down the sound so you can hear me. Um, so yes, I've been installed. I've installed it and been testing it and been using the features. Um, there's a trick you can use with uh, the fingerprint scanner. So if you want the fingerprint scanner to be more accurate, it allows you to add five fingers to the device. If you repeat multiple times on the same finger, so I did three on one finger and two on my other finger, which I'd normally use. Um, if you do that multiple times, that means your sensitivity is going to be much greater. Um, so and it works. It works fairly quickly for me without any issues whatsoever. Not had a single mistake yet. Um, as you might have been able to hear, the speakers they're not amazing. Um, the speaker is actually at the rear of the device. Uh, it's perfectly good for uh, YouTube, um, but it isn't. It isn't sort of suitable for a very high media device. So um, maybe an hour's YouTube a day will be just about perfect for this device. Um, as I was sort of using it, um, it was really quite snappy. Um, the 3 gigs of RAM is really useful for using Android. Um, it's really well optimized. I haven't found any UI issues and everything is in complete English. No Chinese characters anywhere, which is very good for a um, Chinese phone. Um, everything is translated correctly and it was, yeah, it was just all really I was pretty impressed. Um, overall, I would say this would be equivalent to Moto uh, G Series 3 um, in performance that I've um, actually used. Um, so we'll just continue letting this run. Um, so yeah, it's 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 a lot cheaper than a Moto G3. Is there's like half the price. Um, and they do offer a one year warranty of that, and that's valid in the UK. Um, although I think you have to, at the moment, still send it back to China for um, it to be repaired. Although they're supposed to be adding a UK service centre, or a European service centre at least in the next few months. But then they are a new company. So yeah, I was a little nervous about that being them being a new company, but everything I've seen so far has been absolutely fine, and I, I couldn't criticise anything at all. Um, really happy with the device. Um, you can easily get responses from them on Facebook um, really quite quickly within normally a few hours. Um, so they're quite helpful with that and they've got a useful um, form which is on verney.cc that's the website there. So verney, v-e-r-n-e-e -E -E dot c-c. Um, if you go to the form they also can normally reply on there but Bear in mind, they are a small team, so they're not going to be able to reply instantly to every single one of your messages. Um, so 70% of the way through, that's not too bad. Um, other things that I've noticed, um, the Wi-Fi is fairly strong. I'm about 15 metres away from the router, and this is through walls and I'm upstairs, it's downstairs. Um, and it gets good signal, it is only 2.4 gigahertz uh, supported band wise so you, you won't have um, dual, dual um, Wi-Fi thingamajig you know 5G and 2.4G uh, but most most, um, most Wi-Fi is 2.4 gigahertz anyway so it's all work with all your routers and things um, let's just sort of, yeah, um, Play Store already installed, another bonus um, few years ago, lots of Chinese devices didn't have it installed. This was already pre-installed. Got all the Google stuff. As, as you mentioned, as I mentioned, there was the Uber app, which wasn't able to be uninstalled. The UI is very stock in Android. Very, very stock. Um, I couldn't tell much of a difference between this and a Nexus device. Although, personally, I prefer Nova Launch just for the extra customization that you get from it. Um, the capacitive buttons on the bottom, this one here, that goes back, and that one there allows you to access other apps, and that one's the main home button. Um, that can be slightly different to some other devices that people are more familiar with. Uh, for me, that was that's what I'm used to, and it was absolutely fine. Um, and at first, you, they're all sort of vibrating when you touch, so you can go into the Android settings and change that. 
Um, I did confirm it was official Android 6.0, um, so there's no nothing dodgy going on here. It is properly Android 6.0, not. Um, and let's just have a look. So you might be able to just about make out that. Uh, just tilt it to one side. So it's 36, 7,635, uh, and that is with a few background apps open. So let me see. Is that better? No. Yeah. There we go, so it's 37635. Um, sorry, my, the camera I'm using isn't that good. Um, and this, in the rankings rise, it compares um, quite fair, favorably. It's, it's, it's not gonna be lightning speed, but this is like two times as fast as the original Moto G, because my original Moto G um, gets about 19,000, and this is 37,500, so it's double that. Um, and it's absolutely fine for a mid-range device, no, no complaints there. Uh, let's just have a look at the full details here. Um, right, so this is the... Oh, where's that? There we go. No, no. Uh, I'll just read them out for you. So the 3D scored 4,259. The uh, U UX uh, got 15,340. The CPU got 13,126. And the RAM got 4,910. Uh, that RAM score is pretty good because it shows it's not the cheapest RAM. Um, because that RAM score is dependent on how good quality the RAM is. And some cheap um, Chinese devices have really poor quality RAM. So the RAM is really low scoring. But yeah, this is, that was pretty good. Um, so I'll leave it at that. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. From what I have seen from now, it is a really, really, really quick device. The fingerprint scanner is really accurate and really quick again. Um, I have literally no complaints whatsoever with it. Um, yeah, all in all, very good. All right, see you next time, guys.